Okay, so this exercise is a little bit different because from the first time we're not going to be using a style tag anymore. We're going to be using now a link tag. The link tag is different from the style tag because the link tag, it's you use it when you want to separate your styles from your HTML entirely. Like you have it on a different document, like here. I have a styles.css. You can name it however you want, but the industry normally, when you have only one file, one CSS file, the industry normally calls it styles.css. So what you gotta do is that you gotta put this link tag, and then you put the path to your style from the index.html. So in this in this particular exercise, we are standing here on the index.html and we wanna refer to the style. Since it's in the same path, it will be an relative a relative link to this file. So it's within the same folder structure. So you you just put dot slash. That is optional. You can just put it like this, but I like to put it because it's more explicit and you're telling everyone or all the developers or yourself from the future that it's going to, it could get confused. You're telling it it's on the same path explicitly. So after knowing that, it's telling us that we got to fill the CSS with the content needed to make the website body blue. So it's the same thing that we did before. You're going to say body background blue. Semicolon always at the end. Let's try it now. And there it is, it's blue. You can see if I turn it into another color, like pink, and I run it, you'll see that it's pink now. You see? So one thing that I wanted to say is that CSS, uh, if in HTML you had to open and close tags like, like, like this, like you open and close, and then you put some stuff inside, or you can add properties to the tags like an href property to this, to say that you want the anchor to take the user to somewhere. Well, in in CSS you also have to open and close, but you open and close uh, braces or curly brackets. And you gotta do it the same way. You gotta open and close and then continue with your life. You don't open and then fill it in and then close because then you will forget to close. And that's ninety percent of your errors. That and the semicolon at the end of each line. You had to put semicolons. People hate that a lot. Some languages. The majority of them uh, ex require semicolons at the end, but the trend is changing, so new languages will not require it. But for this one, we, we do need it. 